in about eight years ago. So far, they've passed out more than 5,000 medals. Because it's wet, it's hard to move. Cornell says it appears the 
the fire started in the basement. The cause is undetermined. It's a possible electrical fire, so uh, it was accidental. Sandra McNeil, WWJ News Radio 950. Meantime, fire crews in Pittsfield Township have been battling a blaze for over 12 hours now. We're told they were called to a food distributor business the corner of East Morgan and Carpenter Roads around 9 o'clock last night when temperatures were in the minus range. That caused numerous issues, including frozen hose lines and hydrants. There was also ice buildup on the truck ladders. Thankfully, no injuries reported. WWDJ News Time 206, a lucky deer back in the wild this afternoon after being rescued from an iced over lake. WWDJ News Radio 950's Lauren Barthold has the story. Van Buren Township Fire Captain Curtis Lunford says a concerned homeowner called 911 Wednesday morning to report that a deer was stuck in the middle of Belleville Lake. It was a bike buck, approximately two. He says they sent the two-person crew out with an animal catching noose. The team that went out uh, noticed a lot of deer tracks onto the ice, so I am led to believe that it's unclear of how long he was out there, but uh, it has been seen that they've been out there um, since the ice is formed over the lake. Lundford says once the lethargic buck got to shore, it ran back into the woods under its own power. Lauren Barthold at WWJ News Radio 950. Well, just like you having trouble getting going in the cold, your car has to work at it too. But there are some things you can do to help and optimize your vehicle's performance in these frigid temperatures. Jurgen Plasari at Jurgen's Automotive in Livonia says it's best to start with the battery, making sure it's got the right charge. Fluids should be topped off. That includes the oil, antifreeze, and windshield wiper fluid. Plasari also recommends checking the tire, something we often ignore. The tire pressure is uh, very important to be checked because for every 10 degrees of temperature, they drop one pound. Plasari also says keeping the gas tank at least half full can prevent a fuel line freeze up. WWJ News Time 208. It is time for traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the 8th. And how are we doing today, Tracy? We are watching a couple of problems here, Greg. And checking the AAA jam cam is an accident now on northbound I-75. After Mike Nichols has the right lane blocked. Better news here along eastbound I-94 at French Road. That earlier accident has cleared. We are keeping the eye on this accident. Southbound Hayes, just south of M59 Hall Road. All lanes remain blocked due to this collision. And a work zone set up here. Westbound Grand River at Burgess has the right lane closed until 4 p.m. And the 24 hour pickup truck after the release of its next model. In a message on Twitter, Moss said, I promise we will make a pickup truck right after Model Y. Model Y is an electric SUV due for release in about two years. What can we expect for home sales in the new year? I think as, as, as long as inventory continues to remain low, then uh, the prices should continue to remain stable or even increase. The wild card is, of course, the inventory. If the inventory starts to increase, which we've been anticipating that it will, uh, then that'll, that'll start to bail things out. If it remains where it's at, then certainly the prices will continue. That's Jeff Glover, Keller Williams Realty, says January is a big month for new listings, and it usually slows down in February before things pick up again in the spring. Hoping to win big, there were no jackpot winners in last night's Mega Millions lottery drawing. That means Friday's jackpot rolls over to 306 million bucks. Tonight's Powerball jackpot worth an estimated 337 million. That matches the largest jackpot ever won in Michigan. And this portion of news on WWJ, sponsored by Hampton House Furniture, coming up. All the bad news for Pistons fans. We'll update sports in a minute. NHL Red Wings trying to snap a two-game losing streak tonight. They're taking on the Devils out in New Jersey. You can hear it at 97 on the ticket starting at 640. Boy Sports, 15 and 45 past each hour. I'm Ryan Woolley, WWJ News Radio 950. All right, thanks, Ryan. The sports update sponsored by Mother Waddles. Traffic and weather in a minute. This is Rick Frazier on behalf of Mother Waddles. And if you want to avoid Santa's naughty list this year, then you need to donate your car to Mother Waddles. Why? I'm telling you why. Because Mother Waddles has been playing the role of Santa to thousands of needy families every year, and they could use your help. So be good, for goodness sake, by donating your car to Detroit's oldest and Michigan's largest car donation program, and that's Mother Waddles. But remember, time is running out, so you need to call Mother Waddles before December 31st. And if you do, 